Man, got around OG7 back here. Hey, and welcome to my Patreon with the Prison Power Bodybuilding Series. And today I wanted to go over um, what is periodization and more importantly, why you should use it to keep improving. So basically, man, you know, not to make it a complicated long video, basically periodization is just the um, actual increase in your intensity and the reduction in your volume. Because see what happens is, I wanna tell you about the history of weight training and, and physical exercise, the way that I perceive it, the way I perceive it. So let's just say, for example, a body weight exercise. So say you're in a very piss poor shape and you want to get in shape, let's say doing a push-up. And let's say for whatever reason, you know, the most push-ups that you can do, proper push-ups, is five. I'm just going to make this up for this story. So then what you want to do is you want to practice, um, let, no, let's let's do pull-ups. I'm going to say pull-ups because pull-ups are pretty challenging. So I'll give you an example. The average guy who is not athletically inclined, you know, has a problem doing one pull-up, but one proper pull-up where you pull your, your, pull your chin up over the bar, a pull-up, right? Chin clearing the bar. So let's say that's your that's you. You can only do one pull up. So with periodization, what you're going to do is, let's say your goal is to do ten reps. So you would do ten sets of one rep pull ups. So you do one rep. You know, it's very challenging. You get down. You rest. I recommend resting for sixty seconds because we want to practice hypertrophy. And then you know you do your second set one. Then you rest for sixty seconds. So you got ten sets of one so you got 10 reps right so then however long it takes you to recuperate you know what i mean I, I recommend you take at least a day off or work a different body part to allow your muscles to take in the nutrients and to heal up and everything like that so let's say it's your let's say monday wednesdays and fridays i like that because then you have saturday and sunday off to enjoy with family and, and do normal things so let's say you come back around on wednesday and now your goal is to do 10 sets of two. So then you go one, two, then you rest 60 seconds. I can guarantee you you're not gonna be able to do 10 sets of two. You might be able to get like uh, maybe two sets of two, then the rest will be one. But let's say for example, you, your first set you do, you do two reps, but then your second set you can only do one. So then when Friday comes, your first and second set, you gotta do two reps, the rest of the sets will be one. When you get to the point where you can do 10 sets of two reps, it's gonna be 20. So you're gonna keep this up and you're gonna do 10 sets until you can do 10 sets of 10. Once you can do 10 sets of 10, what you're gonna do then is you want to increase your reps to let's just say 15 for measurable reasons. But now we're going to reduce our volume and instead of doing 10 sets, we're gonna take it down to five sets. So that way, as you increase your intensity, you reduce your volume. And the same thing happens when you're increasing your weight. And so hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna have an expert explain it to you, but basically what happens is when I was into powerlifting and bodybuilding, I came up with the, the science of power bodybuilding. And this is what I did, guys. And I'm going to uh, be very transparent with you. Um, for three months out of the year, I only lifted weights like one day a week. And all I did was I just would basically look to um, have maintenance reps, man. So I would be doing like sets of like 30 reps, you know what I mean? So then for three months out of the year, I would start to go like my first set would be 30 and then my second set would be 20. And then my, my third set would be 10. And then for three months out of the year, I would go 30, 20, 10. And then I start going more into like the six, you know, five, six range, right? And then here comes powerlifting season. I start going from 30, 20, 10, down to five. And then I'm going to hit a single. I'm going to hit a maximum. I only did that for three months. Then it's back to the 30 reps, bro. Because periodization, I'm peaking. I'm working up to a peak, a maximum PR for the powerlifting competition. But the rest of the year, I'm more into maintenance mode. Then I'm more into hypertrophy mode. And then I'm more into muscular development mode. If that doesn't make sense, go ahead and sign up for my coaching call. Give me a call. And we'll talk about it. But I want to share this video with you here. This guy really explains it in a more rudimentary fashion. I want you guys to check this out. So 
with serialization, we're going to see a bunch of different uh, level uh, clients and lifters and athletes. So with our novice, we're going to see more of a traditional model, which if we come back here, this is going to illustrate the traditional model where we have a, a gradual decrease in volume with a gradual increase in intensity coming to a peak right as our volume is low and our intensity is high. So with, with novice lifters, they're still very much adapting to whatever we give them. This is going to be a great model to use because we don't need to do anything complex or even some, uh, something as simple as no periodization works very well for a novice trainee. As we get into intermediates, we start seeing more of a non-traditional model being. And as you can see, this guy explains it very, very well. I'm going to include the link to the video um, in the description there. And then as always, guys, I'm going to include a PDF. And I, I encourage you guys to read. It's not just about passive listening. It's about active reading. And then immediate a massive application. I'm really excited for you guys to be joining me over here on the prison power bodybuilding. It's going to change your life due to size and strength. It's important to you. But I also encourage you to keep going with the, the prison fighting combatives because size and strength without being able to defend yourself is folly.